Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to be looking at a skin corset piercing. I'm getting a corset style piercing on my back with using my thermals. Yeah, I've always been intrigued with the way the ribbons laced up and I think that because it's in a place obviously that not everyone can see, it's something that's special for myself. I've got 20 three piercings all together. You can't see them all. It was the thing that you're 12 and 13 years old. You think it's cool because you're into rock music and all the cool rock guys in bands had it. But after that, it's just something that's always grown on me. I quite like cool getting it. Guys. I like the sensation of it, weirdly enough. Rather than doing surface piercings, we're going to use microdermal anchors to provide a more long-term Good idea. Aesthetic. Not many people will do this because it is such like a risky piercing. So, this will be interesting. A type of a transdermal implant where it has a base plate that sits under the skin. And it has oh, a that would be rough to do that many in one go. This also is, skin. this also isn't a great idea because to get that many like piercings in one go, let alone that many dermals in one go, dermals are actually easier to heal than something like cartilage. However, this many, a little bit terrifying. I'm studying law. As you can imagine, Laura is quite a straight edge subject to be oh, studying. How many has she got? It looks like there's 13. I could be wrong on that number, but like that is a lot of dermals. She's tough to be able to do that many in one go, but also the healing. God damn. Your body will struggle to heal like three piercings at one time, let alone 13. This is insane. When you're covered in tattoos and piercings. It's not the most widely accepted thing in society. Very it intrigued it as to how they're going to do the, the ribbon. The way with you look these. is a very big thing. You have to look very smart, clean, and oh, just average, okay. I guess. Fuck. And I'm more than happy to. I have only ever seen one corset that was really badly done. So that sort of put me off and made me wait to find the right person. And obviously, Lee coming up with the idea. I'm like very very intrigued as to how he's done that. I personally have never done a corset piercing, let alone with dermals. And then there's now rings attached to the dermals. With dermal anchors, it's amazing because it's something that I am spending my money on. It's something that's gonna last a lot longer as opposed to a regular corset that just gets taken out. And we can just keep rearranging the pattern. We're doing a design which is called Metatron's Cube. Oh my God, and they're, I believe a mathematical construct. they're putting a the ribbon through the on work. fresh dermals. Sorry. Ah! That is, that's really crazy actually. Like dermals need to be like bandaged down like immediately because they need to like really embed in there. I don't know how um, threading some ribbon through is like the smartest idea. Okay. I think I sat through it okay. He went through it really quick for a dermal artist. He's awesome, man. He's like a really cool piercer. So he makes you feel comfortable. He checks that you're I mean, okay. he definitely looks like he knows what he's really doing, but like, I just think this is a really risky well. piercing. Just a little bit of a change, something to look forward to, I guess. The rainbow ribbon, the lace, I'm thinking like some classic black and blue or whatever colour I've dipped out of my hair at the time. We'll see. When I am a solicitor, barrister, lawyer, whatever, I am going to have to take everything out. So this is something nice that I get to keep to remind me, you know, of period of my life that went through and it looks like also just it doesn't look good um it just looks like you've grabbed your shoelaces out of your shoes and just like thrown them in a pile on the floor i don't know if everyone had these but in australia as kids we had these things called roll-ups and it looks like the like long roll-ups that were like not the like sticky ones but the roll of roll-ups that's what it looks like. Just like thrown at her back. I definitely think it's a really cool concept. I can see the appeal. I just think that particular like design looks a little messy. The dermals themselves look nice as a piece of art, like just on their own. But when you put the ribbon in there, like it just looks a little aggressive. Like there's just a bit too much going on. That one's kind of crazy just because it's, uh, there's just so much risk with that. I don't want to like talk shit on that piercer or anything. He definitely looks like he knows exactly what he's doing. However, everything I've learned in piercing and piercing dermals teaches me that like that wouldn't be something that you could do.
dermals need to be like bandaged down like immediately. So that truly, truly frightens me. Putting rings on them and threading ribbon through. I assume she's just wearing that ribbon like every now and then, but like the ribbon shouldn't be threaded through for like quite some time, a few months before they should put a ribbon through because that's going to be causing like pulling and tension on the new dermals that need to be like fixed into your body first. So like, I don't know, I don't know. I don't like it. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you are new and I will be back very soon.